Today, this court will hear the parental mediation on the custody of one Fong Hao Yu. Both sides should keep restrained to assure the success of the mediation. Plaintiff, you may begin. First of all, I refuse the name Bao Hong Yu. I'm the child's biological father. I think it's perfectly reasonable for the child to have my surname, following Chinese tradition. Do you think you're qualified? You think you even deserve to be a father? Mao is my son. I assume you've read the paternity test. The truth is written right on the paper. It's written clearly on the divorce agreement as well. Even if the paternity test does say you're the father, the Liu family is still not allowed to touch him. I admit that, but in reality, I've been meeting with the child, and we've built a relationship. So I think the terms of the divorce agreement can be changed as well. <laughs> you want to play games? We can do the same to you. Let me tell you, you'll never be able to see Mao Mao again. You don't decide whether or not we see the child. The law has the final say. What were you doing before? What were you thinking? It's not too late now. He can't claim the boy when he wants, and you don't get to be the child's father. You named him Bao? Who gave you the right? I'm the mother of the child. I have the right to name my son using my current husband's name. Yu Shachem, how could you be so cruel and heartless about all this? At the very least, I'd be less against you giving the boy your family name. I don't care what you're against. When I was giving birth to Mao Mao, when both my son and I were facing death, you were nowhere around. That's cold-blooded. So now let me ask you, what gives you the right to point fingers at me? Xiao Qiang, the child is two years old now, but you still haven't told him who his real father is. How long are you going to hide this from him? I was never going to hide that from my son, otherwise I wouldn't have gotten the paternity test. When the child grows up, he'll naturally find out who his real father is. That's not the problem. The problem is that you two are trying to take custody of Mama away from me. That's not happening. I will never agree to it. Then what's the point of talking? There's nothing here to negotiate at all. You're not even giving us a chance. We aren't going to negotiate. If you don't drop the case, this lawsuit will keep on going. We'll fight this until you lose. That's it, then. I don't think I will lose the case to you. Okay, sure. That's it. We will fight you to the end. Have you ever thought about this child? When he grows up, when he finds out you started all of this, do you think he'll forgive you? <sighs> Xia Chang, we're doing this for the child's own good. You think you can care for him in your condition? Leave the child to us. I will make sure to give him the best care and environment that he could possibly get. Don't you know that's what's best for Mao Mao? There is no environment that's better for a child than being in the arms of his very own mother. A child with his mother's love is like treasure. I'm sure you know that. Good, Yu Xiang Chang. You talk back to me every time I say something. Do you have any respect for me at all? None. <gasps> You're trying to take my son from me. As a mother, I have no respect for you. I won't allow anyone to take my son from me. You're just not making any sense. I'm not just anyone. You are the mother of the child. I am the father of the child. I am the father of the child. Can we talk about this in scientific terms? Is the child made up of your genes? When Mama grows up, he'll have more of my husband in him than he'll have you. <laughs> you don't believe me? Just wait and see. It's Mr. Joe's fault. I told him not to negotiate. Just take it to court. He refused. He just had to. See what happened. Just pointless arguing. And in the end, what happened? They scheduled a hearing. Ah, <sighs> a legal proceeding. It's something they have to do. Did you see just how arrogant Bao Jiaoming was being? Hmm. Him being nice at the restaurant was clearly an act. And Yu Xiaochang as well. 
She talked to us like we were children. Divorced women are some kind of evil. But actually, Xiao Chong did make a pretty good point with what she said. Hmm. When the child is all grown up one day, what will he think of us? Do you think he's going to hate us for doing all this? Listen to me. Winning the case is the most important thing. What you said was right. We can provide him with the best environment. When he finally grows up, I think he'll be thankful to us. But what happens if we don't win? Mom, you guys are back. Yeah. Perfect. Good timing. Mom, Guan Yao, take a look at these two. Which one do you like? What is this? I went to an adoption agency. These are the two that I like the most. Which one do you think is better? Oh, wait a second. Just wait. Lan Xian. What is this all about? This is what I'm thinking. I'm not able to have my own baby. So we might as well find one to adopt. Tell me which one you guys like more. Uh, Lan Xin, are you trying to make me go crazy? Mom, I'm just trying to give you a grandson. Why would I want to drive you crazy? You lied to me in the beginning, telling me you could have twins. Now you can't even have one, so I don't expect anything from you. I already have a grandson. Can you please stop adding to my problems? Mom, I'm not trying to be rude. But do you really think you'll get Mao Mao? It's not possible. I guess it's my fault too. We've been married for a long time, but I still haven't been able to give you a grandson. So I was thinking, maybe I should just adopt one for now. First, to prove to you that I can be a good mom. Second, the child will call Guan Yao Daddy once he joins her family. It was annoying hearing Mao Mao call him uncle. First, I don't need you to prove whether you're a good mother or not. Second, Mama will be the one to one day call my son father. Here. Thank you. You really went to an adoption agency? It was a lie. I got those pictures off the internet. I was just really mad. I wanted to see how they would react. How did it go? They rejected it. This time was all your fault. There's nothing wrong with them wanting to get custody of the child. And then you... If you could be more open-minded and treat Mao Mao like your own son, maybe your husband and mother-in-law would start to look at you differently. How is that possible? I finally get it now. If you're a woman in this family, there is no place for you if you can't have children. Being in that family is such a nightmare. <clears throat> How about this? Go talk to Yu Xiaochang one more time. What for? To ask her to give up custody of her child? That's impossible. Who told you to ask about that? Didn't you tell me before that Yu Xiaocheng is some kind of supervisor at a maternity hospital? Someone told me they have the best foreign obstetrician at her hospital. Maybe there's still some hope for you. I'm not going. Why wouldn't you go? Didn't Yu Xiaocheng also introduce you to Dr. Jin? I don't think she had the best intentions doing that. She just wanted the whole world to know that she could get pregnant, but I can't. She only did that to make me look stupid. Not everyone has bad intentions. If it's like you say, that Yu Xiaochang only introduced you to Dr. Jin so she could laugh at you, then it would be like dropping a rock on her foot if Dr. Jin was actually able to help you. But it's the truth. That's what she wants. If I could have my own baby, Guan Yao would probably give up the fight for Mama's custody. Yeah? Well, isn't that what you want as well? Why are you showing this to me? I went and saw this place yesterday. The house they have there is pretty nice. Why did you go see a house? To buy it. Are we going to buy a house? I want to buy a house for my family. 
Here's what I'm thinking. The lease for this place we're living now will be up next year. I'm afraid the landlord is going to raise the rent, so we need to be prepared for it. Besides, Mau Mau keeps getting bigger. This place is just too small. And in the future, he'll go to kindergarten, primary school, and middle school. We need to be in a good district. Look, this house is surrounded by top schools. This house has a good district. I'm not being impulsive. The decision I made is prudent and very forward-looking. Everything is for the benefit of Mau Mau's future. You got money? I don't. Then don't you think you're getting ahead of yourself? Why do you have to say that? You don't have a secret account? If I had money, I would have given it to you. How would I have a secret account? Then where would we get the money to buy the house? I decided to give my dad a call. You asked your dad for money? What's wrong? I only asked my dad for some money. I'm not selling a kidney. Ugh. Leave kidneys out of this. Hearing about it is gross. Of course it does. I need my kidneys for your sexual satisfaction, right? Go away. What got you thinking about this? Why do we have to buy a house now? Liu Guangyao and Gao Hong keep talking about how they can provide Mao Mao with this great environment for him to grow up in. So I just want them to know, no matter what they can do, I can do as well. Honey, why are you such a good guy? But I'm not going to let you borrow money from your dad. I think our house is great already. Even the dust sitting in the corners of this house has warmth. Maybe it wouldn't be as warm as it is now if we moved to a bigger house. I think right now we should earn money and live within our own means. I'm with you. I'm Miss Bao Yu. Our son is named Bao Hang Yu. Even if you become homeless, we will still follow you to beg on the streets. I will never force you to do anything you didn't want to. You ran away from your family back then and refused to ask for even a dime. Now you suddenly want this for us? But I can never let you go do something like that. Hey. What are you out here for? Go inside. Oh, no need to. I'm just grateful that you agreed to see me. It must be something important for you to come meet me like this. Here's the thing. Two days ago, I was drunk. Bao Jiaming was sweet and helped me home. I had a few too many. I don't know if I said anything that I shouldn't have. I was hoping you could thank him and let him know that I'm sorry. It's not really that big of a deal. Jiaming told me about it when he went home. You didn't come here just to tell me that today, did you? I came to say thank you to you too. Thanks for not holding a grudge. And for introducing me to Dr. Jin. Thank you so much. How did everything go? What did Dr. Jin say? <sighs> it's essentially hopeless. Oh, really? I'm really sorry I can't help you. It's me. I've never had good luck. But I'm still not giving up. Today, I came here to ask you for another favor. I heard your hospital has many specialists, and that some of them are foreign doctors. Could you please introduce me? Okay, uh, let me think about it. I'll let you know when I've talked to someone. <sighs> Thank you. Mrs. Lan, I can't promise I can make you get pregnant, but I'll do everything I can to help you. I hope you can cooperate. Oh, I will for sure. First, you need to stop taking all your medication. Before you do the IFV, you will need to get proper treatment. The fees can get expensive in the early stages. Can you accept that? <sighs> Doctor, yes I can. I don't care what it costs. Hmm. Oh, Mrs. Yu, she tells me you're related. 
What's that? She really said that we're related? Well, isn't that true? Her ex-husband is now my current husband. I don't know if that counts as related. It's strange, isn't it? Oh, no. Just a little surprising. I'm afraid I had more than a little to do with their divorce back then. I won't try to hide that. You don't have to worry. I'm a doctor. I have professional ethics. This in no way will affect your diagnosis and treatment. I won't ask about your personal life either. Mind if I sit? You don't have to ask me every time. <laughs> Chopsticks just like you now. <laughs> Why do you have to be like me? I thought you liked knife and fork. I thought you made fun of me. Hey, could I talk to you about something? There's an old Chinese saying, no talking when eating. Have you heard of it? Oh. You shouldn't talk when you're eating. One time I was talking when I ate, and then oops, inhaled a grape and almost choked to death. Hey, when I was a kid, I swallowed a glass bead that I found. And then what? Had surgery? Mm, the next morning, I was fine after the toilet. <laughs> I, but just in case my talking is annoying you, maybe I'll follow that old saying. I can't eat anymore. Enjoy your food. That's great. I can talk to you now then. You can talk when you're done eating. I'm not in a rush. Oh, I don't want to take up all your time during your break. You can talk now. Lenshin's husband is that guy. Who were you fighting with the other day, right? You want to know about that too? <laughs> she told me about it. She said that she was involved with you getting divorced. She did that to you, and you still helped her. That's very admirable. Why would she talk to you about all that? Those things are in the past where they belong. A woman longing to be able to have her own baby, I'm pretty sure I can sympathize with that. You're an expert in this area. Please do whatever you can to help her. It'll make her happy. Besides, complimenting your beauty, your elegance, and your kindness, I think I should add one more. You're big hearted. You can tell that to a woman over 50. <laughs> <laughs> Starting from this evening, let me teach you a new language. I thought about it a lot already. I think it's better if I learn it myself. Oh, you're backing up now. It's too late, though. I already told the president. He's very supportive of this. So this is officially work, not just private. Oh, dear. Now everyone knows about it. Okay, then let's start tonight. Good. <laughs> hey, so Xiao Cheng has English class every single night now? Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Your English is pretty good, isn't it? Didn't you pass the CET 6? Her teacher's like CET 60. He's an ABC. English is his first language. How can I compare to that? It sounds like he's a superhero. Yeah, is it a man or a woman? It's a guy. A guy? Well, then aren't you worried? What's there to be worried about? What's there to be worried about? Teacher-student romances? Those are really common. Your wife, Yu Shatsung, is a very attractive woman, right? Oh, man. Two people together every day, talking to each other. Feelings are going to form. Don't say that I didn't warn you. Hey. Are you being serious? Of course I'm being serious. You... 
You should go and teach this guy a lesson. Let him know who you really are. Won't that make me look a little petty? <laughs> you think you look any less petty sitting here? Would you just look at yourself? You've been spaced all day. You haven't won a game. Yeah. And that's another damn goal. You're not even an opponent. <sighs> it's no fun anymore. Now it's just boring. I'm not playing anymore. I'm leaving. I guess I'll go teach him a lesson then. Frank? You should call me Mr. Frank. Our class has started. Mr. Frank, you really don't have to drive me home from now on. It's on the way. It's no trouble at all. It's still such a bother. Just, just don't do it anymore in the future. Oh, don't worry about it. I'm your teacher. No worries. See you tomorrow. It's nice to be with you. What? It's nice to be with you. Okay. <laughs> do you understand or do you not understand? I don't know. That's okay. I'll translate it for you. Don't translate anything out of our lesson, please. This line means... I want to translate it for you. Do you know who it was that poured water all over your head? No, no, no. I mean on both of you. On you and on Frank. You never did anything to that person. Why would that person pour water on you? You two must have been playing with fire. And the fire was getting too big. So that fireman had to come and cool you two down. Do you have water in your brain? You two are the ones that had water dumped on your heads. I'm telling you, Bao Jiaming, I need to talk some sense into you. You talk sense into me? What sense? If you want me, to be like this. I'll make sure to be like that. Huh? What kind of sense is that? That's some perfect sense. Yu Xiaochang, if you want to talk sense into me, could you be clear about what it is you mean? I can't be clear. But I think you know exactly what I'm trying to say. I'm going to bed now. Get back here right now. Sit right here. No. I'll count to three. One. Two. I was the one who poured the water. I'm the fireman who put out the blaze. I did it to make Frank understand something. The more he wants to be like this, the more I'll make him be like that. 
I'm much clearer at talking sense than you. I know you understand what I'm saying, and I believe Frank understands even more. Well, I'm going to bed now. Are you going to sleep with me tonight? I need to ask you something. What animal is ugly and has black teeth? I'll tell you what. That animal is called Frank. <laughs> hey, say goodbye to your mom and your dad. Mama, dada. Oh, hey, dada. Goodbye. Bye -bye. Say goodbye, bye -bye. daddy and mommy. Bye-bye. <laughs> Good boy. Bye-bye, <laughs> bye-bye. Give Daddy and Mommy a kiss, okay? Here, a little kiss. Mwah. You know how to do it. One, two. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> 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 okay, enough. You should get to work. Okay. Or else you'll be late. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you take good care of yourself, okay? Hey. Dad, take care <laughs> of yourself. Don't worry. <laughs> Mwah. Mwah. Okay. Mwah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye bye, okay. bye bye. Talk later. Okay. Bye bye. All right, bye. <laughs> bye bye. I'm gonna go. Yeah. Oh, can we talk about something? I want to go to Chongming in the next few days to pick up Mao Mao. Mao Mao is doing just fine staying there with Dad. Miss Gwen went home to meet some people. You'll be here all alone. I'll be really nervous. It's just that I'm all alone in this house all day, and I feel lonely. If I bought Mau Mau back, I could play with him during the day, and at night, he and I could pick you up from work. Sound good? Take a minute and imagine it with me. You working so hard, Mau Mau and I waiting for you to finish. How touching. I can't just do nothing at home all day, right? What else do you want to do? Wasn't pouring water on us enough? When you say us, it sounds so natural. Have I already been pushed out of the picture? How can you not have a little faith in me? This is annoying. I'm leaving. It's nice to be with you. Yesterday, those are the exact words I heard Frank say. Do you need me to explain what he meant when he said that? Do whatever you feel like I'm leaving. The meaning of what he said is, your husband is the kindest person on the face of the planet. Why are you jealous? There's nothing to be jealous of. Good men always get jealous. Do you need me to bring back two bottles of jealousy? Just go. I thought you were in a hurry. How can I go when you're acting like this? <clears throat> Mrs. Yu Xiaoqiang, please be careful at work and study hard. This evening in class, promise to wear your wedding ring and not take it off. No problem. Hey. It's nice to be with you. With you, with you. Bye-bye. Come in. Hi, Mrs. Yu. Perfect timing. I have something for you. Have a seat. These are some language flashcards for you. You can stick them on your wall at home. That way, you'll be able to look at them any time. It'll help you memorize them. Oh, thank you. You're so thoughtful. But if you want to learn, you gotta practice. Hmm? Had better. <laughs> Actually, I came here today to tell you I'm sorry. You didn't catch cold, do you? Oh, not a cold, no. Uh, being with you during that meteor shower, it made me so happy. But it made me allergic. Allergic? A skin allergy. I don't know what caused it yesterday. I think it's the dirty water. Dirty water? No mm. way. How do you know? 
Did you find the person who did it? Uh, no, I didn't. I was just thinking... The people who live in my building definitely wouldn't use dirty water. I just don't know how I'm still itchy. All over, even going home and taking a shower. It's everywhere. But why didn't I get a rash? Oh, I'm a bit of a neat freak. I keep thinking the water is dirty. Oh, I get it. Maybe since you've just gotten here, you haven't had time to acclimate. Or maybe your mind is tricking you. Oh, maybe so. Oh, but this, this itch is like crazy. When you have to sneeze, you feel better afterwards. Everything itches no matter how much I scratch. Worst comes to worst, you can wear some cologne. Wear cologne? Why? If you like the way you smell, maybe you'll forget about the water from yesterday. I couldn't. I'd rather have an allergy than smell good and give you another one. <sighs> You have no idea. Jamming poured an entire pot of water on our head yesterday and totally ruined my hair in the process. <laughs> really? <laughs> it left me speechless. I'm scared to tell Frank who dumped the water on us. I'm afraid to fight with Jamming too. I should care about his feelings. After all, I'm sure he felt pretty infuriated for him to see another man bring his wife home and to hear him say what he said. Hey, so what's he like? Handsome? When are you going to let me see him? He'll come and eat here in a minute. <sighs> Why don't you introduce him to me? I'll help you get out of this. Cut it out. You're so annoying. <laughs> Think of it as you helping me to find a man. How about that? But that wouldn't be fair to show. Hey, you already have Bao Jiaming. I don't see you stopping guys from chasing after you. Which is exactly why I'm feeling so stressed. Shut up and eat. I'm not eating. I'm afraid I might get something stuck in my teeth. I'm not trying to be rude when I meet Mr. Handsome. Huh? I apologize. Please excuse me. Let me introduce you. Fang Fang, this is Frank. Frank, this is my good friend Fang Hi. Fang. Hi. Hello. I'm Yu Xiaochang's very good friend. You can call me Fang Fang. It's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, hello. <laughs> hello. You're more than welcome to sit and join us for lunch. Oh, it's fine. I'm just here to remind Mrs. Yu. Oh. Don't forget our class tomorrow night. Okay. Oh, and my allergy is gone. What did you do? I put cologne on. Don't worry. It's not the same cologne. Huh. Enjoy your meal. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. What a man! He's so handsome! <laughs> Just listen to me, Xiao Chang. Compared to Guang Yao, he's much more kind. He's more mature than Jia Ming. Oh, hey. Don't you see? Xiaochang. I'm so jealous. How do you get guys like that? Why do they like you so much? It's not fair. Hmm. Can you keep your voice down? <gasps> oh. How should I know? Ever since I got divorced, I've been so lucky with men. <sighs> hey, so honestly, you for sure haven't told this guy Frank that you're married? I told him I got divorced. Huh? Then why didn't you tell him that you've already gotten married again? Who talks about their personal life all the time? He saw me when Liu Guangyao came to see me the other day. That's why I told him I got divorced. <laughs> the right way to do this is just to add one more sentence. I'm married again. That's all you do. He and I are colleagues and that's it. I really don't know him very well. Why would I tell him I was divorced and got married again? I think you're actually enjoying him chasing after you. Huh? Aren't you? <laughs> Aren't you? Huh. They say that men are players, but you know what? Women are a lot worse. Women know how to hide what's in their heart better. It's not easy for guys to get that. But you found out, didn't you? Let me tell you. Come here, come here. Come here. I'm a Pisces, so I like fantasies. I like to enjoy the feeling of romance. It's not always a good thing. At least you know that. I've already been through one divorce. I now have a wonderful, happy family. I'm being too greedy. Hmm. I need to put an end to this while I can. I can't allow my husband to get jealous again. I will ask Jiaming and ask Frank. The three of us can sit down to dinner together. I will tell Jiaming Frank and I are just colleagues. Then I'll tell Frank I'm already married. You think that would work? I think that might work. 
But you don't think it would be awkward for the three of us eating a meal, right? The dinner has to happen anyway. I gotta tell you, Yu Xiaochang, just now I could already tell from Frank's eyes that he's in love with you. He has love in his eyes. His eyes said love, love, love! How can you be so excited all the time? Come on, eat. I'm not hungry. It's a crime to waste good food. Then you eat all of it. I apologize. I'm bothering you again. Sit down. How was it? The appointment with Frank was all right, right? Thank you for introducing a good doctor like Frank to me. Although he didn't promise he can cure me, but at least he gave me hope. That's some good news for you, then. And I also want to thank you for telling Frank that I'm your relative. You helped me, and I want to help you. Help me? I think you should go talk with Guangyao's mom. I noticed she's not so bent on taking a case to court anymore since a pretrial mediation. I would win that case. Doesn't matter what she does. Then why don't you take this opportunity to convince her to drop the case? It's for your own good. Besides, we all know Guangyao is an obedient son. If she can agree to drop the case, I doubt he would want to take this case to court either. Why would you want to help me? To be honest, I'm also trying to help myself. I don't want to be a stepmom. I understand. Tomorrow's the weekend. I'll get Guanyo out of the house. Then the rest, I'll leave up to you. Fill in. F-I-L-L. Fill in. Address. A-D-D-R-E-S-S. Yu Xiaochang, are you going to sleep or not? I'm going to sleep now, very soon. Don't bother me. Do you really have to do this right now at bedtime? My teacher said I have to memorize these words before I go to bed. Then are you memorizing or thinking about your teacher? He made these flashcards for you, didn't he? Yeah. Listen to me, Yu Xiaochang. You can't bring these cards into the bedroom anymore, especially not into bed. I'm studying English to help me with my work. You don't have to always be so petty about it. If you don't like it, then just tell me. Okay, I'll be frank. If he's really just teaching you English, then it's fine. But if he's interested in you or something, then no way. Why would he be interested in me? Why wouldn't he be interested in you? If I were in his shoes, I'd be interested in you too. You're an extraordinary woman. You're so decent, sincere, elegant. Huh? Of course men are into you. Hey, don't make blind conjectures. I've made up my mind. We should... Ask Frank to come out to dinner with us one night. It'll put your mind to ease. So you're finally gonna introduce this Frank guy to your dear husband? Well, you are my husband after all. What do you mean I'm your husband after all? Tell me, what else am I to you? You're also my son's father. My true love. My life. My everything. Hey. You aren't too bad at speaking children's <laughs> English. By then, you can learn English from this Frank guy. I still have something I haven't told you. Lansing came to see me today. She said my mother-in-law... Gal home? She's not so sure about taking the case to court anymore. So, she wants me to go and have a talk with her. Well, what do you think? I want to have a talk with her. Because I don't want to go to court. But I don't know if you'll let me go see her. Of course you have to go. And why's that? It's not good for Mao Mao if we go to court. Why are you so good? Because I am your husband. <laughs> your life. 
your true love, your everything. Hearing you speak English is just giving me goosebumps. <laughs> your English is so good. Really good, really. I'm no Frank, you know. I said your English is good. I've already told you you're good at it. But Frank's an ABC. I'm just one letter. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Are you okay, David? Oh. 